welcome to our humble abode. I, oh, Parker, come on, dude. So this video has been highly, highly requested and I'm finally getting around to filming it. I'm sorry it's a little bright in here. I had to turn up the brightness on the camera because um, it's a little dark in here today. So let's get started. I'm gonna walk you guys through really quickly, show you guys my small space solutions. My apartment is really, really small and I know in my, okay, you've got to go. So my apartment is really, really small. I know I mentioned that in my very first apartment tour, like before I even moved in, but after I moved in here, I kind of was able to reconfigure the space and kind of come up with some solutions to make it feel bigger and not too cluttered, which is something that I was worried about. So let's come right in. This is what you see when you first come into my apartment. So my doorway is right there. So I'm gonna take the camera around with me just to make my life easier. So this couch I have talked to you guys about before. This is a couch that I real postered. Yes, I know I mentioned that there's a video coming that's still happening. Um, it's just putting together the footage, it's taking me a long time. But I did real poster this couch and this ottoman. I have two of those actually. So I'm gonna do a video kind of showing you guys how I did. Both of those pillows are from Target. I got those on sale. This couch was originally from Urban Outfitters, but I got it off of Craigslist for my very first apartment. And then when I moved into this one, I knew that I wanted to reupholster it and make it look a little bit more expensive, a little bit fresher. And I picked this gorgeous navy plush velvet fabric from Mood. And I absolutely love how it turned out. So then, as you make your way over here, that's my eyesore of a radiator. I hate that thing, but you need it to survive in New York. So these ottomans were originally hot pink. I think you guys would have seen these in my one of my decor hauls. I got those, again, when I lived in my studio for super cheap at Target, and I hated the color. That's a better view. Um, I hated the color, the original color, so I real posted them in this mustard yellow fabric, which I also got from Mood, and I thought it was a really nice compliment for the navy. This rug, you guys have seen a lot if you follow me on Instagram. I got it on Mega Sale from West Elm, and it really ties all of the colors that I have going on in this room nicely, um, so that's why I got it, right? Do you love it? <laughs> This table I also get so many questions on and it is from uh, Target from the Nate Burkus collection. I have a ton of coffee table books but these are the ones that I have on display right now. And then these coasters I got on sale at Target. Basically, I'm gonna sound like a broken record because everything that I buy from my apartment, I get it on sale. That's just me being honest. I don't believe in spending a ton on home decor just because for me at least, I go through stages where I like love a color palette and then I hate it. Like when I first moved to New York, I had a black and white palette and I was like, I'm so over this. Even though my palette now is kind of like very white. Um, but I don't know, I just don't, I think that you can make stuff look expensive without spending a ton of money. So all of these little knickknacks on this table I got on sale, this guy, this was a Marshalls or TJ Maxx find on sale. Those two candle holders were from CB2. This dish I've had for ages and I got that at Sea Wonder, which is no longer in business actually. Hurt my hand by the way, I fell the other day because it was so cold out. Rose quartz that my friend Alex gave me when I moved in here. Like I said, those candle holders are CB2 and the candles, the black candles are from H&M. By the way, over here I have this book that I just got for Christmas. It's the Vogue Covers book. Love it so much. Um, and then I have a Joe Malone candle with this. I forget what this thing is called, a closure or something like that from Crate and Barrel. And this was also a Target find. This lamp, which is one of my favorite finds of all time, I think I got either from Wayfair or I wanna say One King's Lane, but either way, it was like not that expensive. It was like a hundred something and I think I had a coupon for it. Moving right along, this couch, which is one of those pieces that I regret. I don't regret it, but I just feel like, pro tip, okay? When you move, before you buy any furniture, make sure that you give yourself some time to live in the space to truly figure out what it is that you want and how you want it to look. Because I kind of got ahead of myself and I wanted to like get everything done and furnished as soon as possible. And I didn't give myself time to live here. 
Had I done so, I would have probably gotten a bigger couch and maybe not have kept this Navy couch. I don't know. But learning lesson for the future, live in the space before you furnish it. These curtains were a Black Friday find on Target.com. They're like a beautiful slate blue color, kind of like my pillows, eh, like a shade darker. And yeah, those were super inexpensive on Target.com. My curtain rod is from Amazon. Then these pillows, that was a Target find years ago, super on sale, H&M pillow covers. They're like a linen fabric. And then my couch I got on sale from Macy's. I think it was like a 4th of July sale. And it's a sleeper couch, so there's a mattress in there, like a pull-out mattress. Everyone that has slept over so far sleeps on the couch because they think it's so comfortable. And that's Parker's favorite spot, right there, always. I could be reading, I could be watching TV, and he's right there over my shoulder. See what I mean? This is his spot. Right, right, monkey? Right? This is his crate. This is where he sleeps at night, and I have his bed in there because he literally won't use it if it's not in there. I like him to be cozy and comfortable when he is in there, so that's why it's in there. Yeah, he's not in there during the day, just when I'm not home or at night. And then this mirror, I feel like everyone has this mirror. It's from Ikea and I've had that for ages. And moving right along, this is my little workstation right here on this wall, which needs some art right there. This is my desk from CB2. And then that's my new planner, picture of me and my dad. This chair is also a clear Lucite look, as you can see, and I just have this Ikea throw on there. The chair is also from Ikea. Let's talk about my bar really quick. I scored these clear chairs just to kind of keep this moment similar over here. These are Lucite chairs from Amazon. Super, super inexpensive. You guys, I'm gonna link everything that I can down below. All right, like I was saying, I love Lucite clear furniture because I feel like it doesn't make stuff look cluttered. So for a small space like this, it's nice because it's clear, so it doesn't, it's not like an eyesore, you know what I mean? Like it's there, but it's not really there. So personally, I like to use clear furniture for that reason. I just think it makes it look a little bit more modern, a little bit more sleek, and not as cluttered. Then, this is one of my DIY hacks, you guys. This countertop wasn't in the best condition. I mean, it was fine. I don't know if it even shows up in my first tour, but there was kind of like a stain in the middle and I just didn't want to have to stare at it all the time. So I covered this, just this countertop, like my other ones are normal. I covered it with this marble decal that I found on Amazon. I will link it down below. And it has lasted so long. I bought enough, like a huge roll to cover it again if I had to, but I haven't had to. It's in super good condition. It looks like real marble. And everyone that comes to visit is like, whoa, that countertop is so nice. You guys, I literally stuck this on myself. If I could do it, anyone could do it. And then this is just a bowl that I got from Target with my bananas. So then this is my bar cart and I got that bar cart from Target. And then I have some finds on here, like this glass base from H&M Home on sale. The little liquor that I do have because I'm not huge on drinking. And then I have some finds from Target. Target, um, the container store, I think. These are thrifted finds, and then I keep some of my candles that I still need to burn in the back. There's the other ottoman that I told you guys about, and my blanket, and that's just my iPad on top. So this is one of my proudest DIYs, and my boyfriend actually helped me out with this. So this wall right here has no power whatsoever. There's no outlet, so I couldn't put my TV. My TV was originally here on a media stand, which I recently sold because I was just, the color was killing my vibe. So I switched to this dresser, which was originally in my room. I just kind of wanted this space to be nice and bright and white, and I thought that it was a good way to repurpose this versus selling it. So what we did was, because there's no power on this wall, we took power from here under my computer, right? And we put an extension cord, and then we ran the extension cord under this, um, it's like, a, I forget what it's called, it's like a cable channel or something, and it's right at the step of my kitchen, so it's like out of the way, you can step over, it's fine ran it across which doesn't look so pretty but it's typically covered with the bar 
ran it across. There's more channel there so that you can't see it. It kind of blends into the molding and it's connected to the back of the TV, obviously. Um, and that's just like an easy way if you have a small apartment and you want to reconfigure the space and it's like not working for you. That's just something that I did and it's amazing. It has made such a difference because before I felt like it was really awkward to have the navy couch here. It was like in the way of the passageway and now it just like works. Um, it's my TV and I like to cover these Ikea pieces with the glass top that they come with. Um, because I feel like it, they just last longer and they stay cleaner longer. Uh, those are just my magazines. Pier 1 find, Target find. This is a thrifted find. More H&M home. These are typically filled with flowers, but I haven't been home. Candle, and yeah, that's that. This floor length mirror is from Ikea. And I love it. This is perfect for my outfit of the day photos right here so that's what i use it for all right so when you walk into my kitchen this is what you see you guys have already seen all of this counters there that's just a plant my tiny ass fridge which is literally like a mini fridge my coffee that's a cutting board or cheese board whatever you want to call it this is where i keep my sugar even though i don't drink sugar people come to visit me that's an iron or like a steel r didn't really have anywhere else to put it, so I put it there. <sighs> Boring kitchen stuff, my tea kettle, and my knife set. This is Parker's little station right here. My trash can is from Target. And then I got this little cart from Amazon, believe it or not. It's amazing quality. I built it myself and I just needed something to house my coffee station and like my toaster and I needed more storage. This is perfect. It's movable. It has a stainless steel top, like a rod to put a towel. I mean, it's incredible, you guys. And it's given me so much more storage because this is literally all I had. All right, so then moving right along, this is my front door area. And I put this here just so that I can put my shoes there. I have a no shoes apartment, so this is perfect. It's also for somebody I know to clean his paws when we come in from walks. So that's a coat closet. And right here is my bathroom. And it's very small, as you can see. Curtain is from Target. All of the stuff is very minimal. I keep this basket from H&M Home here with extra toilet paper. Parker's wipes are in the back because I clean his paws every time we come in for a walk. Boring stuff, that's it. This is just another closet linen closet and this is the door to my room so this is what it looks like when you come in i have rearranged this room just like my living room probably like 20 times but it's because i have this big eyesore of a fitness bike so I finally figured out that i want it there out of the way and just kind of like in the corner platform bed is from west elm the linens are from h&m home Pillows are from Target. All of my bed sheets are from Target and the headboard is also from Target, believe it or not. I switched out the long dresser, which I now have in my living room for this tall one because it's narrow and it takes up less space. These are just some of the things that I keep on top of my um, glass top here. This is a vintage find. I think somebody that I used to work with gave it to me, but then these are vintage finds. They're milk glass and I have these Two more of those H&M Home tapered candles. Lamp from Target, which you guys saw in a haul of mine. And then this is just like my makeup bag and my phone. This is my jewelry storage thing, which also serves as a long length mirror. And there's my window, which overlooks a park and my radiator. And hello, following me again. This is my Peloton bike, which I talked about briefly in one of my vlogs, and this is what I use for fitness. If you guys wanna see a completely separate video about that, let me know. And then another mirror, this one's from Target. I originally had my long dresser here, and this was right above it, and it worked. And I've just left it here because I'm too lazy and I don't wanna make another hole in the wall. And it just kinda of works, it makes the room feel bigger, I guess. And then this is my nightstand, which I need to get another glass top for because I put the one that was on here on my dresser. And there's another lamp. I keep some lavender by my bed because I love that scent before I go to bed. I also love lavender scented lotion, so that's that. And this is just a little tray. Ooh. 
where I keep all of like my things that I'm always grabbing for. Tissues, this is a candle that I'm loving at the moment. Stress Relief from Bath and Body Works, and this is the book that I'm reading at the moment. Highly recommend if you're trying to achieve your goals and get your life in 2018. And that is pretty much it, guys. My apartment is very, very small. Again, I do live in Manhattan. Some of you guys were asking me, but it's just enough. It's literally just us two. <laughs> what are you doing on mom's bed? So that does it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short and sweet. Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's anything else that you guys wanted to see. And I will gladly make that video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more of this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. So that I know how to make that type of video for you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Poetry. Bye.